What is the best training tool that you're not using? It's the training log or the training journal. This simple thing is highly underrated. So I'm going to go over the numerous benefits of why you should have one and then how to actually use one. It's so simple and easy. So let's get right into it. And if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Antranik. Please remember to subscribe right now and give this video a thumbs up. And let's go over the benefits right now. Let's start off with this list. It helps you to stick to a plan and pushes you to stay consistent. Because whenever you're just recording it, the very act of recording that and having that makes you motivated and keeps you more accountable. You go in knowing exactly what you've done and what you need to do. Because you could see what you did in the past, you see what you need to either just do the exact same workout and maintain your strength or what you need to do to exceed it, right? And then it also helps you avoid injuries because you'll know when you need to push harder or when you should back off because you'll start to notice trends and patterns of things getting harder or easier. You'll know when you need to go to the next progression. You'll know certain things that wouldn't have come to you if you weren't keeping a clear log of things. So it helps you to easily get the big picture and see how far you've come along. Because it's very easy to also forget like how much work you're actually doing. There's been times where I've worked out like four days in a row and then on the fifth day I was like wow why do I feel like shit? And I realized that looking at my log that I worked out four days in a row, you know, and my brain forgot because we have this insecurity that we're not doing enough. But the training log makes it very clear and it's very just objective, right? So you'll get a lot of very clear data of what is going on. And then there's also subjective data. You can just record how you felt that day you can note any pain you felt right so you'll know when to back off something is feeling weird you know you need to do something about it or change something about it right you also could celebrate personal records right breakthroughs are incredibly motivating and so it just overall helps to build much more self-awareness keeps you accountable and always provides a reality check. Now, what do we put in the log? We should just keep it super simple. Just enough detail that you could recreate that workout just by looking at the log. So basically, I just log the date, the exercises that I did, and for every exercise, I put the number of reps that I achieved in every set. All right? And then also, I log at the end of my workout the rate of perceived effort, the RPE. This runs on a scale of one to 10. 10 out of 10 means it was really, really hard and I couldn't do one more rep at all. It was my max effort. If I put nine out of 10, it means I had maybe one rep left in the tank. If I put eight, it means maybe I had two reps left in the tank. So this is a nice thing to jot down because you could see how hard you're actually working and you can spot trends. I also jot down any other random notes such as, you know, celebrating a personal record, you know, jotting down any pain I feel or I wrote down progression insights, meaning if I'm feeling like I've exhausted this progression, or I'm getting bored of it, I will just jot down very simple things that maybe I should change things up or back off or push forward. All right. Now, what to use for the log itself? Well, whatever keeps you consistent, right? I recommend you keep it simple. I use a very simple notes app on my phone, right? I used to use spreadsheets, but it was a little too complicated because my workouts were actually a lot more complicated in the past, so it made sense. But now my workouts are simpler, so just the notes app works fine for me. 
If you prefer to use a pen and paper, please do so. When it was the pandemic and lockdown time and I was working out at home, I was using a simple notepad and it was awesome because a piece of paper doesn't have any distractions like a phone. But nowadays I'm working out outdoors and just having my phone, jotting things down in my phone works for me. There should be no hesitation, nothing preventing you from actually having a log. And now here's an example of a simple log that I was using when I was working out only on one exercise. I was doing one arm pull up training. All right. So the exercise was the same. And the, I just have the date. I wrote down where I was working out in my front yard. The number of reps, 54432. It means I did five, five reps, then four reps, four reps, three reps, two reps. And I wrote repeat, meaning I repeated the previous day's workout, the number of reps. And the RPE, it was nine and a half. And I did this and I kept repeating this, repeat, repeat. I kept repeating the same number of reps. And then I started to increase the reps again. And I just kept doing that until, you know, let's fast forward a month. And I had a breakthrough where I'm doing a lot more reps than when I started a month ago and the RPE was a seven. So that's a big deal to me, all right? And you'll, you wouldn't have noticed trends like this and you wouldn't be able to be very precise in your training if you don't have a log like this. And this precision allows me to just easily know what I need to do to maintain my uh, strength and work out in a way that I'm not gonna injure myself. I'm, I always know how much to push myself. Now that you saw this video, I hope you see how simple a training log could be and how beneficial it is. This tool is highly underrated and it will keep you on track and consistent in ways that it wouldn't do without. All right, so now I'm curious to know, do you use a training log? What has your experience been like? Are you gonna start using one? Do you have any questions in regards to this? Please let me know. I'd love to hear anything you have to say. And I also released my newest program. It's called the Quick and Effective Workout Program. The link to that is in the description if you missed it. This is a workout routine for people who need shorter but more frequent workout sessions. And if that timetable works better for you and makes you more consistent, then that's going to work really good for you. All right, guys, see you in the comments section and have a great day.